Hey everybody, how you guys doing out there? Uh, welcome to another episode of Halloween at the Manor. Well, after I built the electric chair, I kind of got the, uh, the itch to keep going. So um, one of the things I wanted to do last year, and I just ran out of time, was uh, I wanted to make a, um, a, t a specific style of tombstone. Uh, it's one that we don't have here. So what I started doing tonight is, honestly, I came out here and I was bored and I just kind of started uh, messing around and um, really didn't think it was going to turn into anything. But now I think I, I actually got a groove going here and I, and I think I, I got something. The type of tombstone I'd like to make, I believe, is called a monument style tombstone. So the cross that you see here will be the topper for it. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, box, a rectangular box out of plywood, and then I will attach this to the top of that box. Now, I don't want to make this tombstone too high at max between three, three and a half feet. Uh, what I did here on the top and the sides of the cross is uh, I'd like to put the uh, deck cap toppers that I use on the electric chair on this as well. I think it'll give it a really creepy looking gothic -y vibe. What I did was is on each of the posts, the 4x4s, I cut a uh, 45 degree angle. And then, like I said, I'm going to attach those uh, those caps on the uh, the different sides here. So the this side here, here, and here. Here is the box that I built. Uh, it's just made out of plywood and 2x2 two two, uh, wood. Um, and it, as you can see here, it's going to be the, uh, the base to hold the uh, cross topper. The last thing I have to do is just attach the lid to it and then we'll be ready to go. I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, I attached the uh, cross to the box, so we're good to go. The next thing I have to do is just build a base. Uh, my wife was actually just out here and we were talking, and I think we have a really, really cool idea for this tombstone. Uh, she's an avid reader, uh, loves Stephen King and horror. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this tombstone, tombstone an homage to one of her favorite authors. Uh, it is not Stephen King. But anyway, I think this is going to be a really cool idea, and I'm really excited to see uh, how it turns out. So for day two, I wanted to build a base. Uh, I put two by two inch wood around the bottom here, as you can see. Uh, my plan was just to put uh, four by fours on the bottom as well, uh, but I decided not to, um, at least for now. So I'm going to just leave it the way it is. I also went to Lowe's and I got the uh, end cap toppers that I use in the electric chair, as you can see here, and I put those on the sides and the top. The other thing I did today on day two was I put the wood filler in. And when I went to Lowe's today, I actually picked up a different kind of wood filler. Uh, this one is a, a carpenter's wood filler. Uh, the, this one actually spreads on almost like a peanut butter. And it was very easy to apply. It was very nice. Um, the one I bought before um, has more of a sandy texture. But um, this one just seemed to be easier to apply. So I have a feeling I'm going to be using this one uh, going forward. Um, overall, though, uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Uh, right now, everything looks really good. Everything looks really clean. Uh, really interested to get out here and sand this down and see what it looks like. So I think I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, that's the end of day two. Um, and so far, everything is, uh, I'd say, right on schedule. Day three of the tombstone build. Uh, I came out here today and I sanded down all of the wood filler. And as you can see, uh, everything looks really good. This wood filler is very nice. Um, even if it has a little bit of texture to it, that's okay. Uh, I actually kind of like that. So to keep you guys no longer in suspense, the author that we are uh, honoring is Edgar Allan Poe, which is one of my wife's favorites. So um, he's the one that this tombstone is being built for. So what I did was is I went ahead and I uh, dremeled out Poe uh, in a piece of wood. And uh, I'm now working on his birth and death date as well. Um, now you can invest in stencils to do this kind of work. However, I find it easier to just go on the computer, open up a Word document, and use whatever font you want uh, as far as letters or names or dates. And then all you have to do is just... Um, with a pen, um, just copy over those names or dates. And as you can see here, the uh, it gets kind of pressed into the wood. And then all you have to do is, is just then decide how you want to Dremel it. You can either Dremel around it to uh, have, the, have the letters or the names or the numbers pop up or, you know, Dremel into that. So here, as you can see, uh, I finished Dremeling. And um, this is the birth and death date of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, Overall, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I think the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put some wood filler in the screw holes so you can't see those anymore. Um, 
But overall, I think it's uh, I think the stone is looking pretty good. Uh, my wife and I have a few other ideas that we're playing around with, but um, I think I'm going to call it a day here for day three. Uh, I'm going to um, spray paint the, the tombstone today. Uh, I normally use this color cap that's on the very top. Uh, and it's by Rust-Oleum. However, when I went to Lowe's, they didn't have uh, the uh, spray paint that I normally use. So I bought this Krylon, and it's um, it was actually cheaper. And it's you can't tell it. There really isn't much of a difference. So that's what I'm going to use today on the, the Poe Tombstone. <laughs> The Poe tombstone has now been painted the matte gray uh, color, and I think it looks pretty good. Normally, I would just uh, spray paint it this color and move on. However, I have been seeing some other videos out there made by some other uh, fellow Halloweeners, uh, and I saw some of the techniques that they used to make the stone look more aged, uh, make it look more like a, a granite, and I'm thinking about possibly doing that. So for now, uh, I'm just going to let this dry today, and I'm probably going to call it a day here, but I am toying around with the notion of maybe trying out some of these techniques that I saw the other day. Day five of the Poe tombstone build. And yesterday, um, as usual, if you saw my last video, um, I always go and do more than I should when I probably should just stop. And that happened yesterday. I actually uh, built something on this tombstone that I ended up not liking, so I took it off. Uh, but I did decide to do something else that I think is gonna be better. Um, I'm gonna be building a bigger base using a two by six uh, piece of wood, and it's going to come out about three inches here uh, on the sides the and then in the front. And the reason for this is um, we want to be able to put things like candles and flowers uh, on the base. Um, if you've ever seen pictures or been down to Edgar Allan Poe's memorial in Baltimore, um, a lot of people do that. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. The base is now completed with the 2x6, so the next step is I'm going to try to bore holes into each of the sides of the, uh, the tombstone here, uh, right where the candle is on both sides. So I finished bor boring the holes into the, uh, the base here so we can add uh, candles. So I did on the uh, right and left side here. And then I just went around here and put wood filler in um, all of the screw holes and seams and stuff. Um, now I'm just going to have to wait for this to dry and uh, ended up getting some more spray paint uh, today as well. So uh, hopefully, I'm sure this will dry tonight and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to uh, sand it down again and then spray paint it. And I'm guessing that'll be it. Um, my wife and I did have some other ideas, but they're more along the lines of like accessories rather than like than um, building. So um, I think I'm going to call it a night tonight. Um, there really isn't much more that I can do. So the Poe tombstone is now completed. And in a few seconds here, I'll give you guys a closer look at it. Um, I decided not to go any further with the paint. Uh, I just spray painted it the gray and I let it go. Uh, I was going to do some of the techniques I saw on YouTube uh, that people use to make the stone look more like granite. But I decided at this time, I'm just going to stop and move on. Maybe closer to Halloween, I might try it. Uh, what I am going to show you here um, is just a little small sample of what we plan on doing for Halloween. Uh, we did get a few accessories uh, we were waiting for from eBay, and I put those on the stone. Uh, we do plan on putting uh, rose, roses, flowers, more candles, um, probably like some empty bottles of wine or cognac, um, maybe even pose a book of Poe's works. Uh, so that what we're going to show you here in a few seconds is just a small sample. So before I go, I just want to thank you guys a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any questions on how I built the stone, uh, please leave them in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer anything. Um, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video in particular, please hit the like button. Also, if you want to know when we upload a video right away, all you have to do is hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Again, I just want to thank you guys a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care. Bye. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore while I nodded nearly napping.
suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. There's some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this, nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books, surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore.